previously on The Bill. What was you thinking of going in by yourself like that? You could have been killed. So what? And because of what you've done, my baby might not make it. It's not a game. He's a killer. You're going to get what's coming to you. I don't think so. <gasps> You're taking a risk, aren't you? Coming here alone? I always was the curious type. Well, you know what curiosity did, don't you, detective? Commissioner, give you the push, did he? No, I asked to go. Wanted to put my driving skills to the test on the street. Well, it's not cushy out here, you know, not like it is in traffic. You can talk. How many weeks have you just had off sick? Six of my mates just burned to death. It takes a while to get over something like that, you know. Yeah, sorry. Oh, look, our little angels, Andy Bennett and Kev Armstrong. So can I have a tag this time, copper? Because community service was well boring. You want to get yourself pulled in again, do you? Not my fault, someone dumped it here. Oh, and I suppose you didn't nick it, right? Drive? Me? I haven't got my licence, officer. Hey! Oi! Where's your leg, copper? Oh, don't waste your breath. They've got it right in Brazil, you know. They sent squads out there to pick up kids like that. And zero tolerance for you. Yeah, but you pay for what you've done. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all supposed to be about! Have you got something to say, Peter, or am I wasting my time? Whatever it is you want from me, you must want it very badly. We'll start in here and work our way around. Anything interesting, bag it. Okay, go. Are you okay? I'm fine. <clears throat> you shout then. Any way you want to play it, okay? D.I. Nixon Sunhill. Oh, I know who you are. And just when we were having such fun. Peter Baxter, I arrest you on suspicion of assault. That's the trouble with girls like you, always playing it by the book. I also have a warrant to search the premises. Any questions? Yeah, that's him. Andy Bennett and Kevin Armstrong. Sunhill's very own mini crime wave. Hmm. Is this all we've got on last night's mugging? Yeah, well, Sarge, the manager did hope that the cameras would pick something oh, up. Oh, give me some good news, can't you, Reg? Well, yeah. Joey Bradshaw, he's the man who attacked Dez. I thought I recognised him and he's got form for stealing cars and dealing. Now, if Bennett has been hanging around with Bradshaw, it's more than likely where he's been learning his trade. So pick Bradshaw up for the assault, get him off the streets. Yeah, sorry, Mum. Uh, no fix to bowl, I'm afraid. <sighs> Me and you need to have a strategy meeting. Yeah, OK. My office in ten minutes. Oh, by the way, Reg, that's putting you and Dez up today. You don't mind, do you? Oh, no, Mum. Well, a change is as good as a rest. I don't think Des has been feeling himself lately. No, and with Gemma Osborne in the car, he's unlikely to be feeling anyone else. Just cut his streets on here. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, Des. Curry's not really my thing. We'll have to find out what your thing is, then, won't we? Planning on going somewhere, Peter? If you ask me, looks like his prison kit. Oh. Fast track that to forensics. I want to check it against a letter that was sent to Sun Hill. Nice. Oh, it gets better. Every article from Liz Chambers on. Most people collect stamps, Peter. Postcards, maybe. Part of the strategy, are you, D.I. Nixon? Sorry, I'm not with you. Sending the female of the species. Laying the scent for the fox. Luring him in. I'm just another detective, Mr. Baxter. Gender has absolutely nothing to do with me being given this case. Go! Do you get bored easily, Peter? Where's all your painting gear? DIY on CID serious crime list now, is it? Counselling, community service. Andy Bennett, social workers are at as much of a loss as we are. So it's a revolving door policy. We send them to the magistrates and they send them straight back out on the streets again. Well, at the end of the day, they're only 14 years old. There's a limited number of secure accommodation units willing to take them. What do you know about the family? Oh, not much. They live in the Bronte. Oh, get something on there. Apply some pressure on the parents. Okie dokie. Oh, by the way, what's the news on Sun Hill's resident lovebirds? Sorry? Kerry and Luke, when's the party? Oh, no, uh, I got my wires crossed there. Turns out Luke doesn't want to get married after all. Right. Kerry must be well cut up. Yeah. Flat. So, when are we buying new hats? Book in the mail stripper. Did Lee pop the question? Yeah, yeah, he did. Another one bites the dust? Um, I said no. What? Why? I thought you decided he was the one. Yeah, well, maybe I was wrong. I mean, like you said, life's for living. He wants to get tied down at my age. She does, preferably by Mickey Webb. You left early this morning. Yeah, I wanted to clear my head. I thought we could talk some more. What's left to say? Look, I'm sorry I didn't just fall at your feet, OK? Kerry, you know, I really don't know what I did wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the point, Luke. So, this Bradshaw thinks he's some kind of gangster, does he? Don't worry. I'll protect you. It's all right. I don't need protecting, thanks. Here you are. This is where they must come to change. Mm. So even if someone did give us a positive ID, then... They'd have different clothes on before we caught up with them. Looks like someone's been teaching them the tricks of the trade. You're not a bad driver either, are you? Yeah, I know. For a bit. Oh, and that'd be a compliment, would it? Come out on the old Saturday night, you get a few more of them. Believe me, Des, it'd be wasted. Well, look, it's the uniform that bothers you. Look, no, it's not the off. uniform. Oh, so you're one of them I-won't-go-out-with-coppers types, eh? More of a won't-go-out-with-men type. You what? Lokes, Des. Not my thing.
to we fancy or do you? Never heard of him. Listen, I can have you locked up for 24 hours, no questions asked. Do you fancy taking in the cell, do you? There, it's easy. Now give me Bradshaw's address. Now! He stays in a mate's flat. Where? Once he stayed. What number? I said, what number? Hey! One, two, five. Good boy. You live. Sure. Um, sorry, can't. You've got to sign for it. What do you want? Little Tia Joey. You got a warrant for this? If you're using kids to do your dirty work, Joey. The judge is going to crucify you. You do know that. I don't know what you want about. Good. Well, then you can see this is a friendly warning. Then. Come on, Des. I know I hate talkies like you. Des. You'd sell your own mafia next fix, wouldn't you? Well, come on, then. What are you waiting for? Is that why you come round here, is it? Let me finish what I started. Get him out of here, love, before someone gets hurt. All right, that's it, you're nicked. What for? I saw the police officer. So, Peter, how long's it been? Five months? Six? Six months, one week. Four days. Must be difficult. Adjusting to life outside after all that time, a lot must have changed. Money, food. I slept the first two weeks with all the house lights on. Are you getting any help? Resettling offenders group, probation? Can't give me back 27 years, can they, D.I. Nixon? Yeah, but you're out now. You've got all the time in the world. Must be hard knowing what to do with it. Is that why you go to court, Peter? While away the hours? Gets me out of the house. How often would you say? A couple of days a week, every other day? I don't keep track. But you were there on Wednesday. Was I? It was a witness says she saw you. Court number four, Peter. Think. Days all merge into one. The witness claimed she was attacked as she left court. She said the man who attacked her had been sat in the public gallery all afternoon. You, Peter. Must have been mistaking me for someone else. Well, is there anyone we can talk to at court? Anyone who could tell us for certain whether you were there or not? You must see the same faces. See their faces, know their marital status, feel their latest ache or pain. So you can give us a name? I can. But it won't help you, D.I. Nixon. Really? Because they don't see me, you see. Not the real me. Just that sicko. They say, raped those little girls. So they turn away, lower their voices, pretend I'm not really there. Do you know, I can go for two weeks without anyone speaking to me. In the end, makes one feel Quite invisible. I swear, D.I. Nixon. I could get away with murder. He didn't even touch you. If anything, you provoked him. Yesterday, Bradshaw gave me a good kick in, all right? Oh, great. I'm expected to work with you, Des, if you don't keep me in the picture. All right, so if you don't want to work with me, keys. Ah, oh, you've been in a mood ever since I said I wouldn't go out with you. I was only having you on. Now give us the keys. It's all right. There's no need to be embarrassed. You want to know. Knew it the moment I saw you. Yeah? Well, they do say that gay people can spot each other a mile off, so is there something you'd like to tell me, Des? The Aldi's buzzing around. You just caught the serial killer. Cass? I thought I'd struck lucky this time. You know... Funny, intelligent, nice enough to meet the parents. Well, not more trouble in paradise. And then there's Kerry, turning down the one decent bloke left in the place. Last night I went to see Simon. 
to tell him about his sister trying to warn me off him. Only it turns out she was right. I caught him having dinner with another woman. Uh, Kerry, take a seat. I just wanted to make sure everything had sorted itself out. Uh, between you and Luke. Well, he finally got around to asking me to marry him himself. He did what? I'm sorry, uh, Sal, do you want to say anything? Uh, yeah, Reg. Uh, Gemma's not feeling too well, so she's back in CAD, which means you're back in the area car. Go and visit Elaine Bennett, will you, Andy's mum, see if you can't encourage a bit of parental control. Is there a problem? Uh, no, Sarge. I'll uh, go and find Des. <clears throat> I guess this time, congratulations are in order, then. I don't, why don't we go and get a cup of coffee? Come on. Gemma! Feeling any better? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just had to get away from Des. Can't you stand it, Reg? Is he always like that? More like what exactly? A raving flipping nutcase. I've not said anything to Gilmore, but any more loose bolts and his wheels are coming off. I'm looking for Cass. You haven't seen her, have you? I think I heard someone say she's in CAD. It's just I need to speak to her, clear up a little misunderstanding. Well, why don't I get someone to cover for me and take you up there myself? Are you sure you're not too busy? Well, save you chasing all over the station, won't it? See, Peter, I've got a bit of a problem. These murders happening in my patch. Do you mind if we talk about them? If I can be of help. And you understand that any information you offer is given on a purely voluntary basis? Understood. Good. Now, what's puzzling me is that two of the murder victims were involved in court cases shortly before their deaths. And it's all there. Names, dates of trials, when the women were killed. Do you keep a diary, Peter? No, I don't keep a diary. Well, is there anyone we can talk to? Anyone that would know where you were on these particular dates? Like I said, people have this habit of avoiding me. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing the suspect, Exhibit SN3. Why didn't you finish painting your bedroom, Peter? This obsession with my bedroom, dear I, Nixon. <laughs> it just seems strange. All those years in prison, dreaming about a new life, a new start. Yes, well, who was I kidding? So you gave up, just like that? Ex-con. You know what that means to most people, detective? Guilty. Never mind all those years behind bars, an innocent person. Splash of colour on the walls. Won't change a thing. You seem disappointed, dear Nixon. No, of course not. Perhaps that wasn't what you wanted to hear. This isn't about what we want to hear, Peter. I was talking to the lady. He hasn't told us anything we don't know already. I suggest we suspend the interview. Liz Chambers, court number two. Black clothes, lipstick, nails, sold to match. Testified against their own father. Can you believe that? Miriam Ray, court number four. Teased some poor sod, then humiliated him in front of judge and jury. Slags. A pair of them. Hey, Dad, it's the truth. I've got this serial killer in custody. Yeah, keeps on asking for a bottle of Chianti. <laughs> So how's it going with Gemma then? Scored yet or what? Well, you know what they say about extra traffic. Got double yellow lines going right through the knickers. She's sent you down, aren't you? Me and every other fella on the planet. Yeah, right. But I suppose she had to give you some excuse, didn't she? She's one of them, isn't she? Gemma Osborne? <laughs> nah, she's having you on, mate. Sergeant Gilmore suggested that, sir. Uh... Right, let's go now. 
He wants us to talk to Randy Bennett's mum. <laughs> Why? What good's that going to do? Well, see if we can get her to rein him in, I suppose. Waste of time. Some kids are just born bad. It does. Everyone deserves a second chance, you know. Not everyone. It was like he expected us to turn into our parents overnight. Oh. I'm sure that's not what he meant. That's how it sounded. Mortgage, kids, the whole deal. He didn't once say how he felt about me. Well, these emotional situations, sometimes things have a way of coming out wrong. I'm not some package deal, Sarge. Stamped with a lifetime guarantee. I don't know. Maybe if he'd worded it differently, but the way he said it... I just didn't get the feeling he wanted me. DCI Ross has given me full authority... Baxter is playing you. ...to interview Baxter my way. Now, if you have a problem with that, I suggest you put it in writing and you take it up with him. <sighs> Going well, then. Oh, he just can't stand the fact that I'm getting somewhere. Well, you think you are? <sighs> Baxter's admitted he sat in on the Liz Chambers' Miriam Ray trials. He's a loner who can't provide a decent alibi to save his life. He's a classic manipulator with a really strange view on women. I don't know how you do it. Going through their pockets is bad enough, but their minds... Shut the door. The profile provides the bait. I just have to reel him in. But why Baxter? Hundreds of blokes like him get released every day. Sixth sense. No. The way the traditional coppers like to think we do it, isn't it? Convince me otherwise. Right, well, we, we look at the crime scene, right, like any of us. But we look for a pattern. A key for how our man's thinking. Was it a frenzied attack? Chaotic? Yes. So someone lost control, and that tells us a lot about their state of mind. But the murders at Sun Hill, they're organised. They're neat. It's a complex, obsessive mind at work here. So your gut feeling says that's Baxter? Don't do gut feelings. If you did? I'd say he's capable on paper. And if we can prove he wrote the letter. Mm, gut feelings have served me well over the years. Keep at him. And don't let the monkeys grind you down. Sierra One from Sierra Oscar, can you take a report on stolen garden furniture and barbecue from 24 Broom Lane? Over. Sierra Oscar from Sierra One received. In about an hour, Gemma. Over. Cheers, Reg. Gus in here. Uh, no, why? What do you want her for? Um, lover's tiff. Simon here would like to apologise. Right. Uh, well, have you tried the gym? No, not yet. I'm sure she said something about having a workout. Great, thanks. Sorry, I've got to get back to my desk. Look, I'm Joe and Riff, so... Uh, do you want me to take you? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. No problem. You're both being very, very kind. Luke? I've, um... spoken to Kerry. Oh, come to gloat, have you? No, I'm concerned about both of you. Kerry's very upset. I sprang it on her too quickly. She needs more time, that's all. You know how to look. I've seen it before. Guys getting married because they don't want to face facts. I don't have to listen to this. Ask yourself the question. Are you doing this for the right reasons? You know, you just can't stand to see us happy, can you? I want everyone to end up sad and lonely. What? Like me? Carrie's a beautiful girl. We get on great. We can have a great life together. I know we can. Now tell me, what's so wrong with that? Haven't seen Cass Rittman on any travels. No. Come on, we don't want to miss her. You got a girlfriend, Peter? Not at the moment. Not even a date since you got out. Women. They're too pushy these days. Pushy? You mean sexy? Sticking it in your face. Making you take notice. Like the women in those magazines? The ones we found in your house? Cheap. Only good for one thing. Is that what you thought about Liz Chambers and Miriam Ray? They were cheap. 
Dirty? Is that why you wash so much, Peter? To try and scrub the feelings away? When you're locked up, you don't have the same thoughts. There isn't the confusion. And then here you are, out here on your own with no one to help you. And there are all these women, loose women, reminding you of all the things you haven't had for so long. Teasing men and taking them to court, as if it's our fault. Like that woman in court on Wednesday. Two men drooling over her in some club, then claim they were arresting her. So you were in court? Belinda Hudson. Should have been her in the dark. She was the guilty one. Is that why you attacked her, Peter? The courts weren't going to punish her. Someone had to. Why not me? Make it quick, I've got to be in work. Social law about that, do they, Sarah? Bookie's on Greens Road. I'm casing it for a job next Thursday. What do you want? We're here about Andy. Well, if he's due back in court, I'm sorry, I can't afford any more time off. <laughs> We've had complaints. There's been muggings. Some old ladies, and one of them was hurt very badly, yes, sir? Andy wouldn't get involved in anything like that. He was seen in the area. Come on, it might be an idea to talk to you. Failing that, why not give him a good eye? Why don't you stop picking on my lad and go and catch some real criminals? Like that Joey Bradshaw, for one. Oh, you know Joey, do you? I know he's a lowlife and a crackhead. Yeah, well, maybe his mother loves him. Yeah, and Mr Bradshaw is in custody, as we speak. My lad never got into any trouble till he started hanging around. Look, Sarah, if Andy's charge sheet gets any longer, it's going to start seriously impeding his career possibilities. I think his chances of making PM a slim, then, do you? Look, it's just not too late to think about his future, that's all. Future? What future? No one gives kids around here a chance. Look, if I can stop my son turning into a junkie like Bradshaw, well then I'm sorry, but that's good enough for me. Reggie, babe, do you want to call in and get a description on that garden furniture? What's the next shout, eh? Of course, friends, they need another hour. Duncan! Do you realise how much danger you put yourself in yesterday? Playing your little games with Baxter? I went out on the limb, don't tell me you never have. Ross might have let you off, Samantha, but for the record, I think you were bang out of order. Okay, what now? Uh, well, I think as Baxter's in confession mode, we just keep pressing buttons. So, why do you think the Hudson attack was so clumsy? Why let her get away? Well, it took us long enough to get to him. It's probably just his way of hurrying things up. And Tina Pope? Why mention all the others but not her? He's enjoying the game. He's teasing us like he did in that letter. But he wants to tell us. And to get him there, you and I need to start playing on the same team. Two green plastic chairs, table, freestanding gas barbecue. Yeah, I think we might have found those things for you, Gemma. What's all this about you mugging old ladies? Uh, we didn't say it was Andy. Want them to put you away, do ya? No. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. And they've nicked that mate of yours, that Bradshaw. I told you he was no good, didn't I? Where'd you get the stuff from, Andy? Mum said it was a nice night for Bobby. I didn't mean for him to go out and nick one, did I? You cheeky little girl. It's about time you showed some respect to you, you hey, little get. Leave him alone! Want him to grow up hating you lot, do ya? Well, you're going the right way about it. Kerry, have you got a minute? Uh, I'll see you there. I've, uh, I've spoken to Luke. He's as upset as you. Sarge, if he can't even get the proposal right, what well, hope is there for the rest of the marriage? He loves you, Kerry. Luke Ashton is the most annoying, infuriating... He kind. thinks the world of you. Now, most people spend their whole lives looking for that. You're doing a lot of legwork on Luke's behalf. Because I think it's high time that we got everything sorted out for everyone's sake. All I want is for Luke to love me for who I am. It's not too much to ask, is it? No. Well, then why is it proving so difficult for him? Cass wasn't in the gym. No? No. And according to Sergeant Gilmore, she hasn't been in custody all day either. Really? Well, nobody around here tells me anything. Look, all I'm asking for is a chance to explain. I mean, surely she deserves that. 
Keep some pressure on it for me. There you go. Now, did they take anything else other than your mobile? Can you describe them to us? What they look like, clothes they're wearing? I know their names. Well, that'd be really good too. Andy Bennett and Kev Armstrong. They go to my school. They bully everyone. That let Des know. You've done really well, Josh. There's this arcade they go to. It's where they sell stuff. Oh, we'll send someone round there to have a look, yeah? Do you want me to come? I'm not scared. Uh, no, we'll get you to the hospital first to have you checked out. Listen, your mobile number. Can you remember it for me? Yeah. Catching this serial killer means a lot to you, D.I. Nixon, doesn't it? What, I wonder? Promotion? Respect? You've told us about Liz, Miriam and Belinda. Is there anyone else you want to tell us about? Or maybe it's just a chance to show you're as good a cop as any man. You know, I understand these feelings of yours, Peter. How they grow. How they spread inside you. Frustration slowly taking over. You've got to get rid of it somehow. Everyone thinks I'm this monster anyway. The more they think it, the more it's how you feel. So why take Belinda where you could be seen? Why take that risk? I lost control. I wanted to punish her and I lost control. It's what happens when you want something so badly. Emotion over intellect. You make a mistake. I baptize them with water so they may repent. Matthew, chapter 3. That's why I wash the bodies in white spirit. To cleanse away their sins. Says he's washed the bodies in white spirit. Now nobody knows that except us and the killer. He knows dates, times. He's been stalking after the victims through the courts. Do you think you've got enough to charge them? Maybe. Uh, there's still the question of why cut one body and not the others. Forensics are back. And? Imprints on the top sheet of the writing pad found at Baxter's match the letter sent to CID. Look, handwriting samples match exactly. Same pen, same paper. Looks like we got our man. What are you doing? Drunk on top of a bus shelter. Tried to fly away when he saw us. Kerry, I... Funny, both of us ending up in casualty. Something must be broken. Why can't we just go back to the way things were? Let's just forget I ever mentioned marriage. I've thought things through, Luke. And I've come to a decision. Well, so let's try and flush them out. Yeah. Sarah's got a point, you know. Kids like Andy don't stand a chance, because no one gives them a chance. That's you all over, isn't it? Sympathy for the devil. Mm. You mean you haven't got any skeletons in your cupboard? What? Come on, you mean when you were a kid you didn't do anything you wouldn't want to be reminded of now? I wouldn't want to mug an old lady for the bingo money, would I? Look, we all deserve the opportunity to be redeemed, whatever it is we've done. Would you change the record? Hello? PC Taverner. Hello. You what? You little maggot. Well, it's Andy Bennett. He's down the bingo, isn't he? Luke? I thought I'd made myself clear. Yeah, you did. That's what I want to tell you. I think you should fight for her. She doesn't want to know. If you can make each other happy, isn't it worth trying? Go and make a life for yourself, Luke. I have loads of kids. It's too late. Not if it's what you really want. She's moving out. Tonight. Are you sure you've made the right decision? He's a decent bloke. Kerry, there aren't many of them about. We don't want the same things. It's better I know now, isn't it? Well, as official members of the Young, Free and Single Club, I reckon we have another girly night out, and this time we invite Gina Gold properly. What do you reckon, Robbie? Do you fancy another session? I owe you a couple of vodkas. You do, yeah? Yeah, for keeping Simon away from me all day. Cass, wait! She was a work colleague. 
Is that the best you can do? It's the truth. Your own sister warned me, Simon. She said you'd end up hurting me and that you weren't over your wife. Pat thinks I should spend the rest of my life sat by the back door waiting for Jenny to come home. What she conveniently forgets is that Jenny left me. Except she hasn't, has she? What do you mean? Everywhere we go, everything we do. She's just there, like this ghost. That's why you won't stay over, isn't it? Ever since Pat walked in on us, we've just got nowhere. I want to be a proper couple, Simon, not just kissing and holding hands. If that's not possible, I don't think we've got a future together. All units, bingo hall on Marsh Lane. Attempted robbery. Two IC1 male seen leaving scene in stolen vehicle. Registration number Lima 282. Golf. Hey, come on, let's just get back to the station. Get someone else to come out here. Suspects identified as Andy Bennett and Kevin Armstrong. Over. Right. All we've got to do now is wait. Look, come on, I'm asking you as a friend. Listen, how long before it gets to your thick head? I'm not your friend. Oh, yeah. Well, look, I know what's happened here. You've come back too soon after that fire. Yeah, I've seen it all before. Post-traumatic stress. You know your problem, don't you? You don't know when someone's trying to do you a favour. Whatever's going on inside your head right now, I'm here for you, OK? There can't be anything so terrible I turn my back on you, Des, ever. There is. There's me. So why don't you back off while I'm giving you the chance? I hear you've got enough to send him down for another 30. We have. Well, what if I'm sending down the wrong man? Sorry you're not having second thoughts. That gut feeling I'm not supposed to have. It's that bloody white spirit. He should have been unnerved by it, but he wasn't. He was, he was intrigued. What if it was just a lucky guess? There's nothing lucky about putting your hands up to serial murder. Well, there is if all this is about trying to get yourself back behind bars. But he's only just come out. The criminal justice system took away his power, right? He's, he's, he's trying to get back at us. He's, he's watching us dance like puppets. He wrote that letter. We know that now. If Baxter was just some crank, how would he know about the cut on the body? Oh, I don't know. But only one body was cut. Why? It doesn't fit the pattern. What is refined his technique? That's what they do, isn't it? He even warned me. He said, I wanted this too badly. He said, I'd end up making a mistake. You are supposed to be getting inside his head. Now go home and get some sleep. Jenny and I, we, um, we hadn't had sex in months. I don't want to hear that, Simon. So you didn't think I was any good at it? Said I fumbled like a schoolboy. I'm well, making fun of you is not going to help, is it? And it goes around my head, what if you go to bed and you feel the same way? I won't. But you have to let go, Simon. This isn't about Jenny anymore. It's about me and you. I can't believe you haven't mentioned this before. Well, it's not exactly something you brag about, is it? Well, we don't have to rush things. We can take it dead slow. It's OK. You don't have to take pity on me. I understand. Well, so do I now. Look, come round to mine later. No pressure. Just to talk. Sierra Oscar from Sierra One. We're in pursuit of a stolen vehicle driven by the Marsh Lane robbery suspects. Heading in the direction of Canley Fields. Backup is required, over. Standby. Des, you've got to slow down and back up. This isn't a safe distance. Des, what are you trying to do? Run them off the road? You said you were with me. Whatever it took. Okay, so it's a suicide mission, is it? All right, then go ahead, but you're gonna have to take me with you. Sir, 
Tusker at 171, an ambulance is required at the corner of New London Road and Mercy Street. The pursuit has ended in an RTA. We will need the fire service for people. Oh. Fire service, over. Oh. Let's be careful, he's only a kid. You'll be alright, kid. I think his leg's broken. Stay yours tonight, just till I get myself sorted. Ah, uh, not good timing. Simon's coming round. But I thought, you know, it turns out I've jumped to all sorts of conclusions and Simon's explained everything now. I, I never said I'd stopped liking him. So what happened to a young, free and single? Well, maybe settling down isn't such a bad idea. Sergeant Gilmore. Just the man. I was thinking even news could do a posthumous piece on Inspector Chandler. Stresses and strains of the Met's finest, that sort of thing. I have to clear it with Inspector Gold. Things are still very sensitive. What, any immediate plans? A plaque? Maybe a bench? Memorial tree? You'll be the first to know. Well, that's something to keep me going, then. Teenage tearaways terrorise Sunhill. Could run a feature named and shame the little. And give them all the notoriety they're looking for? No, thanks. What about this guy that CID picked up? Baxter? An assault charge. Well, Whispering Zah is your prime suspect. The serial killer. If anything transpires from inquiries, I'm sure CID will be asking for full press cooperation. Oh, thanks. I'll uh, catch you later then. Sam? I think I owe you an apology. And, by the way, congratulations. Actually, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry, I've been so wrapped up in everything. I... Well, at least we can go for a wee drink to celebrate. I don't think that would be a good idea, Duncan. It's just a drink. Is it? Look, I don't have time for anyone in my life right now. It's cool. I think you two better get yourselves an MI2. What's happened? Looks like Baxter was telling the truth in his letter. Another body? They just fished her out. Yeah, I know it's really short notice, but I am desperate. Sarge? Kerry, I was wondering if you could transcribe a few of these for me. Been meaning to do them for ages. Now? Only I was hoping to get away on time tonight, you know, to sort out my so called life. As many as you can, please, my desk tomorrow morning. Oh, Robbie. Sergeant Gilmore said I was needed back here. Oh, yeah, he said for you to go to the right in room. And what about Kerry? Is she still in? Oh, so look, I'm off duty. Ask Kev. He's got a broken leg and a fractured pelvis. He's very lucky he's not dead. So are you. What about that copper? Dead, so he's got a few burns, like you. If he hadn't got us out. Oh, so we have our uses sometimes, then, eh? Bradshaw said the old birds were loaded. If you mug one and prove yourself, it takes you on selling gear. So you want to turn out like Joey Bradshaw, do you? No. Look, Andy. If you make a statement saying he put you up to it, it might just get you off the hook. Now, would you be prepared to do that? If you do say it for me. Go on. Will you phone my mum? All over the house, under the skirting boards, in the roof, even mind the baby's pot with the stuff. I tried calling home. <sighs> no chance. I thought you might have already left. Listen, Kerry, about all that stuff, you know, kids in the houses. It doesn't matter. It was just my clumsy way of saying how much I care. I know. You're the most special girl I've ever met. I've been really hard on you, Luke. So you're not moving out? Not if you don't want me to. Of course not. I know what I do want. Luke. We can live on a boat, in a windmill, have ten kids or none at all. It doesn't matter. 
I love you, Kerry Young. And I'll be the happiest man alive if you do me the honour of being my wife. And he's awake. He's talking as well. You know, in a funny way, I think we finally got through to him. Well, it happened so fast, didn't it? It was just like a, a big wall of flame. And the heat. You wouldn't believe the heat. Yeah, well. He reckons you're a hero. So do I. Why didn't you just walk away while I gave you the chance? Because I've never ever had a friend like you, Des. Even when I was a kid. The money was just lying on one nose desk. It was just too good an opportunity to miss. Des, mate, you're drifting. And I warned him. I told him I shouted. I shouted, get out! Get out! They're all right. Both the lads, you saved their lives. And the gas canisters. The gas canisters. I didn't see them. I swear I didn't see them. And then Sam and Kate. And then it all happened so fast. Look, shut up, Des. I tried to warn them. I don't want to hear this. Well, why didn't you walk away when I gave you the chance? Because now someone's got to listen. And I didn't want it to be you, but now I've just got to tell someone. It was me. It was me that threw the firebomb into Sun Hill. I killed them. I killed them all. Next on the bill. I must have found her body soon after she was dumped. You're really cool. But there isn't anything that I can sort out. Yeah, you better had. Because fixing evidence don't get out too well. Last night. All night. Thelma and Louise. All right. Which one do you want to be? 